after the baby, I started working out and taking a pain reliever for my knees. Went back to work, needed something else for tension headaches. Baby got big, I got one more for my back. Every new pain, a different pain reliever, but not anymore. Today, I'm all Advil. Advil is my every pain reliever. Works on all my pains, wherever I hurt. So I'm ready for anything. I'm all Advil. Today, hospitals can use modern advances to help locate the source of pain. When it comes to relieving pain, the pain reliever hospitals use most is Tylenol. Look, last year, hospitals dispensed Tylenol 10 times more than the next four brands combined. So the next time you or someone in your family has a headache, ache, or pain, shouldn't you use Tylenol too? Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. A healthy 23-year-old young man who was full of life until he died because he sprained his wrist. Sprained his wrist? Yep, he was in perfect health and he died because he hurt his wrist. And between 100 and 500 people are dying in America every year when they shouldn't be. From sprained wrists, sore backs, headaches, these minor injuries are killing people. And it's all because they believe the most widely used pain reliever in America is as safe as candy. Wow, that is scary. So what is it? It's best known under the brand name Tylenol, but what I'm actually talking about is called acetaminophen. And not enough people know how dangerous it can be. So they take too much of it or take too many different products containing it, which is all too easy to do. And no one is out there sounding the alarm. So let me do just that. Too much acetaminophen can kill you. 19-year-old Madeline Byrne was taking Tylenol for a toothache, something many of us do. But doctors say one of that medication's main ingredients can have deadly effects. Eyewitness News 5's Kevin Sims is live tonight with our big story. Kevin? Jessica, this was not a college kid taking illegal drugs. This was not a college kid that was even abusing prescription medications. Instead, she was simply trying to feel better and made a mistake that cost her her life. Imagine being Kate and Carmen Trunk and losing your 23-year-old son to a sprained wrist, or losing your husband to a sore back, or your best friend to a migraine. If we get the word out, we could save those 100 to 500 people every year. And the word we need to get out is this, use as directed and only as directed, because too much acetaminophen can definitely kill you.